So I've kept talking about gravity, so let's have a little bit more of a think about it. So even without the risk factors, all of us are subject to gravity, constantly pulling fluid to the lowest part of us, which is the legs and the feet. And basically, if you cut your leg and you cut your arm, the arm is much more likely to heal as it's less susceptible to gravity. Compression counteracts gravity and is therefore the most basic remedy for managing leg wounds. So thinking about what we mean when we're talking about <clears throat> intermediate and necessary care with malcompression, what we're discussing here or, or um, speak, speaking about specifically is compression of less than 20 millimetres of mercury. And that's characterised as malcompression by the World Union of Wound Healing Societies. The National Wound Care Strategy has given us permission to use malcompression for the indications listed on this slide. This is not for everyone, however. I mean, obviously, if you had a 20-year-old um, person with no risk factors, then they should have no problems with the wound on the lower limb healing. But for those with indications of mild venous disease uh, and some of the conditions that we talked about before, thinking about mild varicose veins, varicose eczema, then mild compression would be indicated for these groups. So compression therapy is an evidence-based treatment that can help to reverse increased pressure and support healthy muscle movement by applying additional support on the outside of the skin. Where there is venous hypertension, the limb sits in a cycle of inflammation and compression therapy has anti-inflammatory properties which switches off this inflammation. Some may say it is like ibuprofen for the legs. And this image shows, shows really nicely here the, the impact that compression has when it's applied to the lower limb. 